Hello everyone, this is Shinto Shiranu. I'm trying this again to see if I can get everything done correctly. Okay, I've had my PlayStation 4 for about a week now. Played a couple of the games through. I'm going to give you guys a uh, quick little say of who I am. Uh, avid gamer, um, as you can tell. In the future, I plan to have equipment so I can do streaming for older video games, such as I'll date all the way back to Nintendo, Super Mario Brothers, Change of Ninja Turtles, Metroid, Legend of Zelda, games of that nature, all the way up to the present day games. Okay, real quick, uh, Batman and Arkham Knight, fourth uh, game in the Arkham series, third one done by Rockstar. Arkham Origins was not done by Rockstar. But still a good game in my opinion. Okay, uh, I or pre-ordered the uh, the game back in January from Amazon.com. Got the special $100 edition, the $200 edition, where the transforming Batmobile was sold out. But I got the statue and some really cool extra stuff. Exclusive content. Um, loading up right now. Like I said, um, I don't know if I said this before, but I have played through the game just a little bit. Did that earlier today to kind of test run it. I will actually restart from the beginning if I can. If not, I'll create a brand new profile. Uh, let's see. I'll go right in here real quick and just kind of give you a couple of overviews of it. Okay, uh, exclusive content that I got, which I have not played yet. I've got the Harley Quinn pack. There's supposed to be a Red Hood pack that you get through uh, pre ordering at GameStop. That will most likely come out to regular downloadable content in the future. I know the Batgirl pack is out. I uh, haven't downloaded it yet. have not gotten paid. As soon as I get the chance, I'll go ahead and I'll download it. Uh, let's see. Another... Got some uh, exclusive skins, which I'm going to talk about real quick. Arkham uh, Continue Story. Of course, you know, AR Challenges. White Augmented Reality. I think that's uh, taking place of like the old... Uh, little battles I can't remember what they're called on top of my head from the first three games that you could do like little challenges uh, I'm hoping you actually have those because I actually thoroughly just enjoyed those uh, Arkham episodes that just kind of explains through the previous three games oh well, wait a minute that's downloadable content oh my bad yeah see I haven't played any of this yet uh, actually I'll probably be playing through that one a little bit because I'll explain a little bit of what happened before, uh, and I'll explain that in a broadcast later. Down a little bit of content, of course we know what that is. Extras, Warner Brother play. I know there's an exclusive like Batman skin. If you have Batman Arkham Origins, you got like Batman like one million. Uh, if you connect it with Warner Brothers, you did the same thing with Injustice. You got like an exclusive skin for Flash. Uh, Got to refix my password on that. Okay, uh, going to kind of do a couple of showcase stuff real quick, and then I'll end this broadcast to make sure that it did it correctly. Okay, first off, Batmobile. Uh, kind of reminds me of the Tumblr from the Arkham, not Arkham, but from the Batman trilogy games. Not games. I'm tired, everybody, from the movies. The I ain't talking. Uh, I ain't talking about the quadrilogy. I'm talking about you know the Dark Knight trilogy. Uh, just in my personal reference, I like the first one a lot. I think it was a very good origin story. I, but other than that, the second one, I felt like there's a couple of things mi missing on it. I felt like I was moving a little too fast. And this, in my view, my personal opinion, it's still a good movie. Uh, I thought Two, two Face was a little out of place, though. And the third one, mm, I have to bite my tongue on certain things on the third one. Uh, and I'll explain about that later. Uh, this later right now, I am a martial artist, and there was a mistake in one of the fight scenes, which should should have been caught. Uh, guy, after like he got kicked and hit, Batman didn't even touch him, didn't even kick him, and there's probably about five feet from him, so it was very horrible on the on it. Okay, um, well, that's the Batmobile for this one. Uh, I'm kind of enjoying the Batmobile run so far. What I've done. Now, I pre-ordered it, so I got the 1966 skin for it from, you know, the Adam Weston, uh, Burt Ward series. I think it actually goes very well with this, uh, this design right now. I, I think it improves on it. Um, I, I like the red and black look. 
There seems to be two more unlockables. I don't know what they are yet. I'm not even looking on the internet. Okay. Um, everything else is locked right now. Okay. Now let's go over here to the bat suit and characters. All right. Here's to look for the game. Right here. Terry much looks a little bit older. Very dark look. The uh, 30, uh, 30, this model is very well done. I really like it. Uh, it's got kind of like a, almost looks like a, a wet look to it. Almost like, you know, he's got a little bit of water on him. Uh, you can kind of see how this kind of light hits it. Uh, only thing that bothers me is it's like he's looking down. It's like his shoulders are hunched up. That just hurts my neck just thinking about that. Okay, uh, going on to, one, I, and I haven't unlocked these yet, okay? Keep that in mind. I just start playing through it. I haven't unlocked them. Here's the new 52 loop. Probably the first time I have actually seen it. Uh, kind of reminds me of Batman the Animated Series look, just the way it is. Especially with that yellow belt. I mean, minus, you know, I don't think he had a bat symbol in the animated series but very much the ears are a little sh yeah the ears are a little shorter uh i think the cape is yeah very much just reminds me of that you know it's the gray with the yellow and the black and yeah not bad though i have it reading in the new 52 comics so i know a, a little bit about them i know they kind of changed up it's like a i know it's a i know it's a different universe so i'm keeping that in mind but there's just certain things that I'm just particular with. Gauntlets are different. I just noticed those. Uh, Batman. Classic TV series Batman skin. These. A little bit of history. Uh, technically the third broadcasting suit of Batman. Uh, for people who don't know. There are some 1940s serials. Uh, 13 episodes. That was Batman's first appearance, and that was, you know, like I said, it was in the 40s. Uh, really, the outfit didn't look that bad. Um, and so it was really the st uh, their first attempt to get superhero stuff out there, especially, you know, during the Depression, the War uh, era. There's one that came out in the 50s, but this is actually the very first TV version of Batman. Very campy, very... Very much of a spoof on the Batman series. Uh, I, they kind of went with that theme for a couple of years until Tim Burton's Batman, uh, which is a classic movie. Uh, it just really is. But here it is. It kind of seems out of place in the game series. I guess it's more for nostalgic reasons. Uh, yeah, just it, it's hard to think of that as menacing. I'm sorry. But, you know, that was the TV show, too. Okay, getting on to the next Batman suit that I have. And it's the pre-orders, the Batman Justice League 3000 skin. I really, really like this one. I just, I'm sorry. That looks like very ticked off. I'm tired. I'm going to hurt you, Batman. Especially with the red eyes. Uh, black and red usually goes very well together. Sometimes it just kind of looks out of place. But with the metallic shine... On that, as well as just the eyes, it really just adds on to that effect. Also, kind of reminds me a little bit of Batman Beyond. I really do like it, though. Alright. Tim Drake, a.k.a. the third Robin. And I'll have to finish this broadcast up pretty soon because my battery uh, is dying. Okay, real quick. Not a bad look on this one. Very much uh, goes with Arkham look. Bald head. That's trying to get used to that one. But at, and also, but he has his hood over in some scenes. So I'm not sure how much this pertains to the comic books anymore. But I do like that. I mean, it makes Robin seem like he's coming into his own. All right, new 52 Robin. Probably out of all the 52 stuff, I will have to say I do like this one. Uh, he's a little bit skinnier, doesn't look as much like he's uh, darker. Kind of reminds me of Robin from the Teen Titans series that came on Cartoon Network. Not to be confused with Teen Titans Go. Alright. 
Now, I do like this design right here. Probably looking forward to just put, plugging this one in. I'm trying to give everybody a little bit of a detailed look on it, but it's so dark in this little scene. Um, I'll go ahead and go through this one real quick. New 52 Robin. I'm at Nightwing. Uh, oh, crap. What is it? Oh. It's called Bloodhaven Red. Okay. <sighs> Dick Grayson, original Robin. Do not like this look. Uh, reminds me of the Injustice look for him, or the Injustice version of him. Uh, if you guys haven't played Injustice, he's not in Injustice. Well, technically he's dead in the alternate universe, which you're fighting against. Uh, but that's Batman's son, who wears like a red version. Uh, it actually fits with it. He actually has long hair, not a mullet, but actually long hair. Uh, but yeah. It explains in the pretty cool comments that Damien accidentally killed him. And then, I'm not sure from there. It's okay. This it doesn't fit in. Even with the Batman 3 million, I just don't think it would go in. My favorite version. Right here. Reminds me of a grown up of uh, the Titans. Not Teen Titans, of Titans. You know, after a while, there was, you know, you had the Teen Titans, which is always the younger groups, and then you had the Titans. Alright, now, I like this one. Also kind of reminds me of Young Justice. If you guys haven't watched that series, very, very good series. It's a shame how it ended. I think it ran about 50, 24 episodes, about 48 episodes. They're actually going to do another season or two, but, you know, uh, they canceled it. But... I like this version actually a lot better. Uh, like I said, this is just a quick test run. I'm on explanation. As you guys know, the Arkham, this is the final Batman Arkham game. Uh, the whole thing is, you know, this is the night Batman dies. Uh, looking forward to playing this. I'll start. Yeah, I'll have to just redo it. I'll have to start another one. And just from there, everybody, I'll do audio. And then. When I beat this one, on this one right here, what I'll do is I will uh, do a non-audio version. But I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to play through this one, beat this one, and play with like one of the other skins and not do any audio. So there will always be two versions of each of my videos. Uh, when I do gameplay, one will be with audio, one will be without audio. Uh, thank you everybody for watching this first broadcast. I look forward to everyone's comments and hopefully in the future. I can be doing some more reviews of some older games. Thank you. Now. And ending my. Ending in three, two, one.